A teen accused in a human smuggling attempt is free tonight, and he won't face prosecution. Channel 5's Christian Von Pricing explains how child smugglers are causing problems for Border Patrol and local law enforcement. Here's how Border Patrol puts it. Wednesday, a car is spotted leaving Enzo Lewis Park at a high speed. Border Patrol agents responded to the area. The driver took off. It attempted to evade. The driver made an abrupt maneuver, lost control, and rolled over. They discovered that there were seven people inside that vehicle. Border Patrol says the wrecked vehicle was carrying people in the United States illegally. Six people went to the hospital. The driver, unhurt, was a U.S. citizen and a teen. These incidents. They're frequent here in the Rio Grande Valley, particularly Stark County, um, Rio Grande City. As well as this week here in Ansel Duas Park. It's not the only incident. In April last year, a 16-year-old was accused of driving 12 people who crossed the border illegally. This May, a 17-year-old charged with smuggling 10 people. Border Patrol says criminal organizations tempt teens with money. Trying to convert them to become ruthless smugglers that have no regard for human life. Border Patrol says they're doing what they can do to stop it. Tonight, the teen is free from custody. They're not expected to face any state or federal charges because of their age. In the Channel 5 newsroom, Christian Von Pricing, Channel 5 News at 1030. In an effort to deter teens from getting into smuggling, Border Patrol has its Operation Detour program at Valley Schools. This is a Channel 5 News Extra. As part of the program, Border Patrol staff go to schools and talk to kids about the consequences of getting into smuggling. The program shows teenage students videos of students who've suffered consequences of making the wrong choices.